Greetings from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, New Covenant Parish in Oklahoma City. This is the Open Heavens Devotional for June 20th, 2019. Open Heavens is a daily devotional written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboe. And the title for today is More Than Conquerors. Yes, we are more than conquerors. The memory verse is 1 John chapter 5, verse 5, which reads, Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? So, who are those that overcome? He that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. The Bible reading is Revelation chapter 12, verse 9 to 11. Revelation 12, 9 to 11, which reads, So the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old, called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. He was cast to the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ have come, for the accuser of our brethren, who accused them, before our God day and night has been cast down and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony and they did not love their lives to the death. We can see again there there was an overcoming even of the devil and that is what we are looking at today, that we are more than conquerors. What does it mean to conquer? It means to overcome and have dominion over a person, a territory, or a kingdom. So that's the meaning of overcoming and conquering. Dominion over a particular person, territory, or kingdom, even to the point of surrender. That's another key thing about overcoming. So, as Christians, as believers, we will now ask ourselves in overcoming, of course, there's an adversary you are trying to overcome when you say you're overcoming. So, who is our adversary? Well, even in Ephesians 6, chapter 12. It already spells it out that we rest not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Which means, even from that, we know that the greatest enemy of believers is the devil and his kingdom. And the truth of the matter is that as mere mortals, it is impossible for us to speak of overcoming the devil in any form of contest as mere mortals. We cannot do it. But we are speaking as conquerors. Why? Because on the basis of God's declaration concerning us, we know that God that is in us is greater than he that is the world, the devil and his kingdom. So, with God in us, we are overcomers. But with natural self, we cannot overcome. And this confidence, we furthermore have this confidence that if God is in us, and He is in us and is greater than He that is in the world, then no one can successfully stand against us. So long God is for us, no one 
no power, no principality, no rulers of darkness can stand against us. That's the blessed assurance that we are. And why are we more than conquerors? We are more than conquerors through the love of Jesus. And the great thing to know, and that should give us confidence that we are more than conquerors again, is the fact that Jesus Christ, he is the ultimate conqueror and overcomer. He is the ultimate con conqueror and overcomer, and we, his children, can follow in that footsteps of being overcomers and conquerors. Because he already fought for us, and through his conquest, we also inherit that in the ability to conquer. Now we ask ourselves again, who can we learn from concerning this overcoming? We've already mentioned already, and that is our Lord Jesus Christ. And he did it in two spectacular ways. And those two ways we'll look at right now. Two spectacular ways that Jesus Christ triumphed and conquered the devil. The first one was the temptations that the devil came to give him. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ overcame this crucial contest. He gave the devil what in boxing terms you can say a technical knockout through the power of God's word. Because in every temptation that the devil brought at that crucial moment, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the ultimate conqueror and overcomer replied with, It is written. So he used the word in that case to overcome. That is one aspect. Now, the second aspect, again, that we look at, and that we looked at today in the devotional, was the fact that the devil orchestrated a sham trial which led to the crucifixion of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ but he did not know that Christ would totally destroy him through his subsequent death and resurrection so another great way that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ overcame through his death and his resurrection and what happened during that time of his death and resurrection just to show how the Lord Almighty conquered and overcame he paraded the devil and his courts in an open show of shame, confirming his supremacy over the kingdom of darkness. That again proves to show that we serve the ultimate conqueror and ultimate overcom overcomer. Because even the adversary of the devil was put to shame and an open parade was made of him, of shame. So that's to show that we can follow in the footsteps of that great overcomer because he has already conquered for us. And that is praying for us here, even at the end of the devotional, that no matter how hopeless your situation may be, or the fierceness of the battle against you, I decree that your enemies will be disgraced and you'll be victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. We can overcome our adversary. We can overcome the enemy because we have a God that overcame. We serve our Lord Jesus Christ that he has overcome. And we also are overcomers and conquerors. And in line with that, the prayer point is still talking about that. And we're going to pray in that line. The prayer point is, Father, Make my enemies submit themselves to your presence in my life and let every gate blocking my progress open unto me of their own accord in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray, O oh God, Lord, all our enemies, sir, let them submit themselves to your presence in our lives. Sir. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that every sort of gate that is blocking our progress, sir, let them open on their own accord right now in Jesus' name. 
Thank you for the victory we have in you. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow by God's grace.